Where's that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Scaldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... <sighs> We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well... We'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Follow me. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother they're saying Dutch murdered on the boat. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Another straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on. Apparently there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with. Here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. 
Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Stay here. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Hold up, he's doing Gentlemen. his thing. Gentlemen! Excuse me, dear brothers. My wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. She's, she's taking a turn. Where is she? A terrible turn. Stay back. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, Mister. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Okay, lean all those boots you got there, eh? Mm. Those are very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? <laughs> Is he alive still? Mm. Come on!
The camp's up this way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Let's take these, hijo putas! Goddamn army of these bastards! How much is Charles bound? Still time! Let's push forward! Look out! We got one shooting from the tower! Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all missed me a lot, but fear not, the joy is back in your lives now. You good, Charles? Yeah. I'm already wishing we'd have shot him from that tree. I just wanted to say, I know you bastards miss Arthur. me. Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Are you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, y'all crawling. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest the no game in the pot. Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Welcome back, Sean. Oh, here comes trouble. I you Arthur you Morgan. Okay, the drinks are on me. <laughs> yes, just relax. Joy, you fine folks. You ain't joining in? I suppose. There is little joy left in drinking for me. If I may say so. Okay. Enjoy the party, Molly. Oh, yeah, I am enjoying it. Oh, I just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of them. Go to a different town to escape them. Finally. Some good news, eh? Uh, indeed. And she loves you, Well, you're usually my love. <laughs> well, what I do say, she says, young man, you're a rebel. What a little, little, little all day. Well, what I do say, she says, young man, you're rather free. Or diddle, diddle, diddle all day. I put my arms around her waist. Well, well, what I do say? say? She says, young man, you're in great haste. For the diddle, diddle, diddle all day. I put my hand upon her thigh. Well, what I do say? She says, you're getting pretty. I put my arms around her waist. 
I put my hand upon on her ass. Work well, what I do say. She says, let's lay down on the grass and diddle, diddle, diddle all day. And we diddle, diddle, did too. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Morgan. Reverend. Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. Things are on the up again. Will you dance with me, Arthur? Sure. I ain't much of a dancer. <laughs> Excuse me, Mary Beth. Say, Arthur, it's okay to dance. Doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. Well, what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. I mean it. <laughs> Beautiful. Mr. Morgan. Oh. Thank you again for the dance, Miss Gaskell. Anytime. You're better than you I okay, thought you Okay, Hosea? Well, well done, thank Arthur. Thank you, sir. Oh, it wasn't oh, just me. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later, then. Okay. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sounds good.
My love for you, it has caused me to roam. I'm a rabble rouser, and Dixie's my home. Jackie Diamonds, Jackie Diamonds, I know you of old. You rob my poor pockets of silver and gold. Oh, whiskey, you villain, you've been my downfall. You've kicked me, you've cuffed me, and caused me to brawl. My foot's in a stirrup, my bridle's in my hand. I'm leaving sweet Molly, the fairest in the land. Her parents don't like me, they say I'm too poor. They say I'm unworthy to enter her door. They say I drink whiskey, my money's my own. And them that don't like me can leave me alone. I eat when I'm hungry, I drink when I'm dry, and when I get thirsty, I lay down and cry. It's beefsteak when I'm hungry, and whiskey when I'm dry, greenbacks when I'm hard up, and hell when I die. Rye whiskey, rye whiskey, rye whiskey, I cry. If I don't get rye whiskey, I surely will die. Oh baby, oh baby, I've told you before Do make me a pallet, I'll lie on the floor I've rambled and trampled this wide world around Right now with the gang, that's where I am found It's with these gun slingers, dear Molly, I'll roam I'm a rabble rouser and Dixie's my home if the ocean were whiskey and I were a duck, quack, quack, I'd dive to the bottom and get one, one sweet sup. So you brought the loudmouth kid back to us. I'm sorry. I wanted them to hang him. <laughs> well, he amuses me. You done good, Arthur. Loyalty. I used to think you were all stuck up. I know. You told me a fair few times. I did? <clears throat> well, I'm... I'm sorry. No, you ain't. I don't blame you. I used to think you was one sorry excuse for a man. Well, you've, you've changed your mind since then, right? Absolutely, Bill. We all have. Ain't that so, Arthur? Sure. What is it you called him? Uh, sheep in wolf's clothing. That's it. Is that right? <laughs> well, thanks. Thank you. Don't mention it. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up, then. Let's go. You know... It was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. 
They were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Too. It can all be used. Just hold on there, girl. Throw that on your horse and mount up. I want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Let's go, girl. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. Alright. Lead the way. Been dead a couple of days at least. Another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything.
This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? See some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp? It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. Easy, girl. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said. Did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison, we'll shoot you too if you don't get... What business is it of yours? What? We... Oh, it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you <gasps> killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, oh, please, don't kill me. I'm begging you. I've heard enough. <laughs> Damn right. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. You busy, Arthur? Not too busy. Why? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. They're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, or less. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long they started talking in their own weird dialect. 
They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? Pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees. I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. The coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Pappy. I was gone for ten minutes, I was. You can only get on an all day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, oh, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gopher, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be quiet!
any more of them. All right, quick. Let's look for the stash. They weren't shy about defending that barn. Let's check in there first. Do you want the money or not? Come on. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, right. I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I'll try and see about the dead. So much. Very good. Boy. Yep. Yeah. You chick Matthews. Oh no, no, not me, sir. Uh uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it! Hey! Get back here! You owe us money! Oh no, you don't! It's on the left. There ain't no reason to tie you up. Goddamn treasure hunt? You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. You got the map. Do the decent thing. I shouldn't have borrowed. Millie Millie. She's a ranch maid here. You know where she is? Don't know. 
The ranch maid. Miss Millet, you know where I can find her? Uh, nuh uh. You okay, boy? There's always got to be such a goddamn performance with you. Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's got to be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Now, lay off it, Lily. God damn it. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn manners. Son of a bitch. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? You speak English? Me? Silesia. Yeah, good for you. I'll bet Silesia. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the nah, Kaiserreich. I don't ja? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Ooh. Where is it? Oh, no. No. Nye, nye. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silk? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. God damn it, you have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up. Stop! You still have strength. Ah! 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 No, 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 no! Please, no! Uh, no, have money, but but to have this. It's, it's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out there? Yes. What you got behind there? So, uh, Move aside. Rusako mnie można ufać. You must have come here with something. What do we have here? My old bronzka, yeah. Just keep quiet. Nie rób tego. I need. I must eat. Proszę. Okay. That should about cover things. Oh, 
it's okay. <laughs> Whoa, girl, easy. Come on now. Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, you saved my life, and I'm, well, I'm very grateful. Don't mention it, Reverend. I, I made a fool of myself. We've all done it. I just, I just, I get so confused and, and angry, and then I, I hear God laughing at me, and I get even angrier, and, well, I'm a real prized dolt. I know it. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? I made a start on things. Haven't recovered all of it yet. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's a pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. D oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Uh, I said I would get the money, and I will. Just, I can't for a while. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Uh. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Uh. Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. Uh. Uh. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm, I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do I'm doing my best for you. A little patience is all I require. <laughs> Your dad's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. Please, show some compassion. Please, please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> 
Then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. How did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. <laughs> 